making their fist combat debut at Ryan McQueen and Gene Eric. As we see Gene Eric flexing for the ample crowd here down at Foxy Cellar in Santa Cruz. Boy, was this the biggest crowd and the loudest crowd we've had down here in Santa Cruz yet. These, student, these uh, students of the game right here, both from the Reno, Nevada area, trained by some of the best that Reno has to offer, including the Reno scum. I know they got a lot of other great trainers out there. As we see an ankle pick by Gene Eric, it smashes the knee as it comes crashing down to the canvas. Uh, these two, a lot of hype behind these two. A lot of hype behind the Reno, Nevada area as well. Uh, it's a, it's a mecca of professional wrestling. You got a lot of great talent come from the Reno area. Of course, 
on top of that list is Dorito freaking scum. As we see a go behind and a paintbrush by Gene Ag. Ooh. My Ryan McQueen not having any of that bullshit. He almost kicked his teeth out there. Little punk ass. Trying to smack the back of the head of, of Ryan McQueen. Oh! Stiff punch right to the jaw by McQueen. You know. I'm not sure if these two have ever wrestled before. They are making their fist combat debut here. The winner of this match is going to earn a spot in a future fist combat tournament to be determined at a later date because whoever runs this fucking promotion is a bunch of jack-offs from what I understand. I've never met the guy. He stays behind the shadows. I don't know who he is. I don't know if it's a he. In fact, even I do not know. But uh, this right here for a future fist combat tournament entry. You got to think. With a few more years under his belt, Ryan McQueen has got to be the favorite in this match. But we've seen Gene Eric really taking control here. Holding on to Ryan McQueen, wrenching the arm. He might have poked the eye there, I'm not sure. As we're seeing the bird's nest view here at Bocce Cellar in Santa Cruz. Boy, have the shows just been getting more and more filled with energy. More and more filled. We're gonna have to start turning away people here soon. Oh, message says we'll be right back. Blunt time. Yo soy el vero mero, el rey de los cielos, el hijo del carnicero, azúcar moreno. And the ladies love to call me Thunder Liz because when I go on downtown, they all thrust their hips. Yo soy el mero mero cacamen, esta es mi pareja, el campeón del mundo también con yo, la anarquía de México. And ustedes, you're all watching Fist Combat. Boom! In your face. Dale. And then we see the Lucha promo as Tech Attack Team Champions. The Fist Combat 3 Tournament winner, Kaka Meng, and his tag team partner, Anarchia. As we see Gene Eric here, ascending the turnbuckles and laying the fist on Ryan McQueen. Oh, McQueen, McQueen's got him for what seems to be a powerbomb. Oh, and he powerbombs him into the top turnbuckle at, at the adjacent corner, carrying him all the way across the ring, showing the strength is Ryan McQueen. Here, the crowd is solidly behind McQueen. And discus punch. That might do it. One, two. Oh, and Gene Eric kicks out. You know, we got a lot of great shows coming up here in the Santa Cruz area. October 17th, that's a Saturday night. And a two-day event in November. Friday, November the 20th, and Saturday, November 21st. We've got a huge announcement about that on the show next week. As of course, we see hashtag Fist Combat in the top left of your screen. Make sure you're hashtagging Fist Combat on the playground, at your boss's desk, in your company emails. Hashtag Fist Combat, write it on somebody's car. Fucking dig it into their windshield, I don't give a shit. As we see Gene Eric with a front face lock into a suplex and smashes Ryan McQueen onto his face with the cover. One, two, oh, almost a three count. I would have considered that one an upset if Gene Eric would have pulled the victory out there. Very surprising Gene Eric has been in much control over this whole match. As we see McQueen, oh, he pops back up with a super kick while Gene Eric was on the top turnbuckle. McQueen pulls him up for a stalling suplex and drives his head right into the mat. I don't know if Gene Eric's gonna be able to get up after that one. I can feel the vibrations from right here. Vanilla Monsoon down here ringside of Boxy Cellar in Santa Cruz as McQueen ascends the turnbuckles to the top. The crowd's going crazy here in Santa Cruz. Oh, is he thinking about it? 
I think he's going to. He's going up top. On top of the roof structure. And a ginormous frog splash. That's got to do it. Two and three. Let's check out the slow motion instant replay. He's got to be 50,000 feet up in the air. Comes crashing down. All of his body weight. Ryan McQueen. Uh, referee Big Alex counting the two and the three. Right there. Winning a future fist combat tournament entry. The man from Reno, Nevada. Ryan McQueen. I'm going to need a break after this one. Oh my god, what a win, what a high-flying, huge frog splash by Ryan McQueen to pick up that victory. Well, guys, it's time, it's time for the Santa Cruz street fight between the Reno Scum and the Grizzle Veterans NC-17. Ah, there's some shenanigans going on, though, so let's hear some words from both teams right now. Hey, this is Hamburger backstage at Fist Combat. Today's guest is NC-17, and here they are. How you doing, buddy? Uh, did you hear the news? I, I didn't. Did you guys hear the news? Well, I heard from a little birdie that Mr. David Luster is not going to be here tonight. He had apparently some transportation difficulties. That's what I heard. I had nothing to do with it. Did you have anything to do with it? I had absolutely nothing to do with it. And Reno Scum, just remember one thing. When you go into combat and you want to go into a Santa Cruz street fight with NC-17, I've said it once, I've said it twice. You signed your own death warrant. It doesn't matter who you got or who's missing. But what you've got to realize is this. Like I said before, you mess with NC-17, guaranteed you're going home in a body bag, Jack. Well, well you see, the question is, is it going to be a two-on-one handicap street fight? Is Adam going to have a new partner? What's the story? Do you know anything about this? Uh, you know anything about this? Well, you need to find out, because we want answers. So find out, is he going to have a partner? Is he going to be by himself? Because we need to know. <laughs> You got it? So go talk to your boss, go talk to the head guy in charge here, go talk to the owner, talk to the powers that be, and find out what's gonna happen. Cause we wanna know. It's not our fault the guy couldn't make it, okay? So find out and get back to us. Allegedly couldn't make it. Not that we knew anything about that. <laughs> All right, Reno Scum, they're coming for you. Hi, this is Richard Pence of Backstage of Fist Combat. Here with one half of the Reno Scum, Adam Thornstone. <laughs> you see? It was supposed to be Adam Thornton, so illustrious legend, the Rito scum tonight against NC-17, right? Right, right, right. see that fist boy? But, and we're going to fish them anyway. Luster's not here, I don't know what NC-17 did, or if he's having a baby in Reno. But the Rito scum, the Rito scum, we got real high friends, real low places. So come on in here, kid. You see this right here? The rebel of Babylon, Ryan McQueen. And so NC-17 tonight, we're gonna give you a Doc Mart dental plan. Tell him, kid. Doc Mart dental plan, I don't know what that is. How you doing, Mr. Richard? <laughs> doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> We're facing NC-17, right? Yeah. I like rated R movies. <laughs> rated R movies, like the kid said, are just too sweet. Tonight, boys, Doc Mart dental plan, shotgun right down your throat. It's like a big show tonight. Back to you. Vanilla Monsoon back down here at ringside. And boy are them, there's some shenanigans. There's some hubba There's some nonsense going on here. Nobody knows what happened to Luster the Legend. He could have had car problems. He could be having a baby in Reno. He could have gotten taken out by the NC-17, we don't know the answer. And we've got so many questions. But it's going down anyway. The match that we've all been waiting for, the Santa Cruz Street fight between the NC-17, Styles and R2 Cool taking on the Reno Scum. But tonight, as we saw the Prince of Babylon, Ryan McQueen, I don't know if that's what he's called. And the king of the Indies, Adam Thornstone. No luster the legend tonight. And I don't know, you know, that just shows the cunning wit 
of the veteran tag team, NC-17, knowing that, hey, they need to get the advantage anyway, by any means necessary, even if that means doing something dastardly, like taking out one half of their opponents. As the match is getting ready to start here. Showing the international sign of love as action is underway here at the slam pad at Bocce Cellar in Santa Cruz, California. And this is starting out exactly like we all anticipated. A lot of energy, a lot of emotion it going into this one. This, this battle's been going on for months between these two teams down here in Santa Cruz. It started back in July with a tag team match that ended in a no contest. Then in August, we saw each of these tag teams take on each other in singles matches. Adam Thornso whooped the ass of our two core, taking home the victory. And then, which was no surprise to me, the match between Styles and Luster ended in no contest melee. It doesn't take long for the hardware to start entering the ring. Three chairs at a time as Thornstow sets up the chair in the corner. I can only imagine what's about to happen now. Styles and Thornstow trading licks back and forth. Thornstow goes for the whip in the reversal. Back first into that chair. I, I'm not gonna say steel chair. That wasn't a goddamn steel chair. We all know that. That wasn't a steel chair. It's just a chair. But I'm sure it fucking hurt. As we see a short elbow drop by Styles right to the forehead of the King of the Indies 2015, one half of the Reno scum, Adam Thornstone. Vanilla Monsoon down here at ringside. As we're seeing the view from the bird's nest up high here at Bocce's. Styles is one face first into those into that chair right there. Where's McQueen and R2? Cool. They gotta be on the outside. So we have another goddamn camera angle here. I wanna see what's going on on the outside. Who the hell edits this shit? Oh, there we go. Finally. R2 Cool grabbing the microphone. Oh. Talking about the women on Tinder. I tell you what. The women down here in Santa Cruz are beautiful. As we see both members of both teams taking it to each other on the outside of the ring here. R2 Cool has McQueen in a front face lock. McQueen busting out with a couple of punches, only to be taken out by Styles. Thornstow coming in with a house of fury. Grabs R2 Cool by the head, throws him back into the ring. Yo, know, I don't know. I would have said that these two teams both evenly matched down here at Fist Combat in Santa Cruz. I didn't know before tonight who was gonna win this match? Oh, let's take a break. We'll be right back with my analysis of this match right after this. This is the jackpot, Scotty Ringer. Stay right there, because you're watching Fist Combat TV. As we see the jackpot, Scotty Ringer, back in the ring action. Like I was saying before, I didn't think there was a clear-cut winner, no clear-cut favorite before this match started tonight. But I've got I've to gotta wonder if after the advantage of taking out one half of the Reno scum, does the advantage for this match 
quickly go over to the veteran tag team of NC-17. One has to think so. As we see our 2 cool take that chair to the head of the Rebel of Babylon. I'm probably fucking that name up. Ryan McQueen. Ryan McQueen taking this match on short notice. And you know what? He's been holding his own out there. Definitely uh, the freshest of talent is there, Ryan McQueen. All three of these other guys, more than 10 year veterans of professional wrestling, but they're all holding their own. I'll tell you. As Thornstone brings the stairway to hell, that steel ladder into the ring, sets it up in the crotch of Styles. And I don't think I want to know what's coming up next. Looking like Barry Bonds ready to knock one into McCovey Cove there. As he takes a home run swing, knocking that chair, using that ladder, that stairway to hell right to the crotch of Styles. And an implant DDT by R2 Cool. Is Styles going for the cover here? I, what the hell seems to be going on? Uh, is that a rope? Is there? Can we zoom in on that right there? Camera editor guy. I think it's a, it looks like he's tying up the King of the Indies. Adam throws so to the bottom rope there. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. It's finally our cameraman. What a fucking idiot. Zooming in there. It is, that, that appears to be what's going on here. Adam Thornstone being tied to the bottom rope. That's not gonna bode well for this makeshift team of Thornstone and McQueen. As Styles drives McQueen's head straight to the mat with a devastating DDT and the crowd down here in Santa Cruz is letting the NC-17 know how they feel about him. NC-17 rubbing salt into the wound as referee Big Alex is over there trying to help Thornstow get untied from that bottom rope. I don't know how the Reno scum is going to come back after this devastating maneuver being tied to the bottom rope. As we see a great tag team combination by NC-17, this has got to be it. One. Two. Oh, what a dastardly move by R2 Cool pulling up McQueen's head. I would have think that he would have definitely had a three count there had he not pulled McQueen up from the mat to take more punishment. It's almost as if they're shoving it into the Reno Scum's face, saying, hey, you know what? We're NC-17. We've been around the bush. We've been around the block. One, two, 20 times, I tell you what. And there's no way the Reno scum are gonna come in and intimidate grizzled veterans like NC-17. As Thornstow is squirming around like a fish out of water, trying to get himself freed from that bottom rope. Styles laying the boots to him. I haven't seen a two-on-one beat down this bad since that time that I saw Floyd Mayweather and Ray Rice in a three-way with that chick. The referee Big Alex has had enough. He's calling it right now. That's it. That's it. I don't know if McQueen gave up. I don't know if the referee's just calling it. Here, let's take it. Let's hear it from Berger. NC-17 There you hear it, NC-17 with the referee stoppage and Kakamang and Anarchia charging the ring I have a feeling, ladies and gentlemen fans of fist combat and get this in TV this is not the end of it I gotta give that kid a lot of 
credit, okay? He had the guts to step up to the I plate. Was no, 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 no. He, yes. he, he had the I guts to really step up hurt. to the plate and team with Adam Thornstow and take us on tonight. But he didn't get the job done. No. There will be other nights, kid. And as far as Adam goes, sorry, dude. We told you we had a plan. You didn't think we did, and we did. We had a perfect plan, and we executed it perfectly. <laughs> Once again, NC-17 it gets the job done. Let's go celebrate. I'm terrified, folks, and I feel bad for the NC-17's opponents. Back to you, ringside. Oh my god, I don't think anything has been settled between the Reno Scum and MC-17. I don't think that's the last chapter in that book in the hottest feud in tag team wrestling to date. Well, that does it for another episode of Get Fisted TV. Make sure that you're liking, subscribing, and sharing all of the things Miss Combat on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and especially on YouTube. Next week, we're gonna see the battle between Scotty the Jackpot Ringer and the Santa Cruz Kid. Boy, I've been waiting for that one. <laughs> well, until next time, for everybody here at Get Fisted TV, there's only one thing left to do. And then get fisted!